Uh, they don't, and, and yet they had, and this is after the last raid into Gaza, which demolished, you know, 35% of all houses there. So the blockade is not just against weapons. Uh, it doesn't allow a variety of um, of foods. It only allows a very limited amount of medical equipment. So um, the, the lists are very long. This is this this is a humanitarian problem with the blockade itself. Um, this is not typical Israeli behavior. This is something that is uh, almost uh, vicious in its behavior. To that, that would never have been done, and never has been done in the West Bank. Uh, it's they're trying to basically tell the populace in Gaza, as long as you have the Hamas as your leaders. Uh, you're going to be suffering. And that's against the Geneva Convention. It's against everything else. You cannot. And that's also historically just going to turn the population who wasn't radicalized to Hamas and only make them dig in. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we know that. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the bottom line, uh, there's a, uh, the, the philosophy that always was uh, prevalent in Israel was you can't fight ideas with force. The only way you fight an idea is with a better idea. Uh, and, and this has been forgotten. It's like we can force them to, to surrender. And we know that's not possible. I mean, as, uh, we, we had a blockade against the state of Israel before it was a state. It was still Palestine. And the British put a blockade, and it didn't help. We kept bringing in people. We brought in arms. We, you know, we fought them off because the, the stronger they fought, the harder we fought back. It, this, this is the way people are. There are three kinds of terrorism. Uh, there's a psychological or what's called ideological terrorists. Uh, you have the, the territorial terrorists and you have the, you know, the Looney Tunes. Well, the Looney Tunes and the ideological ones, you can usually beat, but the territorial ones you can't, which are, these are people fighting for freedom on their land. They almost always succeed. I mean, take it from the starting from the American Revolution, and you go through every time. You've got Vietnam, you've got uh, the 80s with the uh, Afghans and the Russians. I mean, it, it's... Always, it's always. And, this, and, and this, uh, the, the people who have the ideological ones, which used to be like the, the Butter Meinhof or the Red Army Brigades or any one of those, they have disappeared in time. The, that's why Al-Qaeda, for example tries to latch itself on to a territorial uh, terrorist groups. That's why al-Qaeda wants to be tied in with groups like the Hamas, like uh, the, the people in Yemen, because they need a territorial background and the suffering of a people to, to recruit new people to their, to their lines. Um, the, the Gaza is like the, the magnet for all these terrorist organizations. It's the Mecca. Against the West. It's the Mecca. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no question about that. And the suffering there is unbelievable. I mean, you people don't understand what we're talking about. Going to the Gaza Strip, you know, it, Soweto in South Africa, at its worst, was a paradise compared to what's going on in Gaza. It's incredible. In the time we've got, I want to get into uh, your books and some of the things you criticize the Israeli government and the Mossad did when you were uh, in, uh, involved in it, and, and also the Navy. Uh, but, but you talked about it, militarily, if they were going to do this, you would go in in an open-top uh, wet submarine or basically a glorified underwater sea do. And then basically, uh, there's a lot of different ways to disable those propellers. And then it doesn't give uh, the people wanting to have this big standoff, the spectacular event. Because, you know, at a base level, people always cheer for the underdog. You got folks, you know, uh, with, with, with clubs getting shot by commandos. I mean, that, any way you slice it, it uh, is going to be a PR disaster for Israel. And again, I'm no genius about all this stuff, but I can see that. I mean, it seems like a five-year-old can mentally work through all this. Absolutely, you're, you're, it's it's <laughs> it's stupefying. I mean, what do you? How do you even explain it when you have the you know the, the Israeli government responding and saying, okay, they came down with 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 commandos onto the on board ships in the middle of the night from a helicopter, and then they're saying that the people defending themselves are attacking the soldiers. I mean, even the explanation is stupid. Stay there, Victor. This is key info coming up.
This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800 686 2237. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Fatigue, headaches, allergies and asthma, chronic disease. Is your home making you sick? Here's a fact. Our indoor air quality is getting worse, and the causes include chemicals, toxic gases, dust, pollen, dander, and even chemtrail particulates. To rid your home of these contaminants, get the best-priced air purifiers in the industry at airfiltersandpurifiers.com. Our air purifiers are specialized to fit your needs, from allergy sufferers to the sleep-deprived to the chemically sensitive. And with no tax, free shipping, a five-year warranty, and a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. And healthy, purified, clean air to gain. Call us at 800-499-2418 or go to airfiltersandpurifiers.com. GCN listeners, receive 5% off when you use promo code GCN. Call 800-499-2418 or go to airfiltersandpurifiers.com. Your trusted advisor for clean air. Victor Ostrovsky is our guest, naval commander, the head of their naval weapons program, and then, of course, recruited to be a case officer uh, for the Israeli Mossad. And he's authored two nonfiction books about his service in the Mossad. We're going to tell you about his website, thebookpatch.com, coming up, or ostrovskyfineart.com. Uh, this is a short segment. Uh, you were finishing up with the plight of what's happening in Gaza uh, and, and and then I want you to elaborate on the mindset of the Likudniks uh, who say, hey, we got 400 nukes and, you know, we're just ready to go wild. I mean, basically, you know, I mean, chutzpah is the word. And then expanding on that, uh, what you see happening with Turkey, they're saying they're going to send naval ships in. 
Uh, they're saying that you know more ships from Ireland and Malta uh, and and other places are coming. And and what do you expect Israel to do? Well, according to uh, the the prime minister, he's already uh, starting to show that he's you know under U.S. pressure. Netanyahu, he just may you know ease the Gaza siege. I mean, there's no question about that. And easing it in a way that he would kind of like uh, backtrack, but not lose face in to his own party, which is an extreme right-wing party in Israel, which has 